What's up everyone, this is Edward from Carbide3D, and I've got another screencast showing you some additional features inside the new Carbide Create Pro. In this episode, we're going to focus on textures. So I have this um, regular 2D design done. Uh, it's just a 9x5 rounded rectangle with an offset and then some text with an offset. So if we click on Model and then our outside profile, I like to set this uh, to the same dimension as the, the material thickness. So if we go to job setup, we can see the material set at half an inch. So back in the model, we've got this outer profile selected and we click shape. And then we're just gonna do a flat half inch extrusion. And I like to name all of these components. This one I call base material. If we click apply, we can click show 3D and here is the shape, the component that we just made. So hide that, we're done. Now we wanna select the inside profile, go back to shape. And this is also going to be a flat, but instead of adding, we're going to subtract and I'll show you the difference here. So if we apply this with an add and then preview it, it just literally adds a quarter of an inch above the previous component. But I actually want to cut that away, just like a pocket, which we will name this component, pocket. Click apply, and you'll see it update in real time. So there's the pocket that we just made. Now, all of our features are going to be inside of this pocket. So we'll hide 3D, and we're done with that component. Now we're gonna add a texture to the inside of this um, this feature, but I don't I don't want it to overlap the text So I'm going to select the inside profile here and then the outside text profile and Then I'm going to click this texture button and I've got a couple of textures in here I'm just going to use this one called carved um, and this is effectively uh, It looks like chip carving uh, But it's just a PNG file so a PNG or a JPEG or a bitmap anyone will work and you can preview it right away. So this is what the texture looks like. And you can see the angle here is set. You can see these going at 45 degrees. But we could change this to zero. And those grains are now going to run left to right, just like that. Uh, if we invert the texture, then everything that was at the highest point will be the lowest point, and the lowest point will now be the highest point. So we'll leave it like this, and we have the height of this texture set at a quarter of an inch. And if you remember, the pocket was a quarter of an inch deep, so that means that this texture is sitting on top of the previous pocket, and it can only come up a quarter of an inch. And you can actually see right here it is matched with the outside dimension. So that's only a quarter of an inch. Um, that actually seems a little bit too tall for me for this texture, so I'm gonna change it to an eighth of an inch. And rename this component to texture. Okay, so that looks pretty good. We'll apply that and then we're done that preview. Now for the text, I want to make this text um, rounded and proud of the texture. So I'm just going to highlight the text, click our shape button, and we can show 3D. So this is just a flat extrusion. It's trying to bring it up an inch, uh, which we don't want either of these. We'll change this to round. And with a round, that max height doesn't matter if you have height limit set to none. It's basically gonna make a round depending on the dimensions of the feature you're trying to create a round on. So because this text is really thin, the round doesn't have to be huge, you know, to, to meet up with both sides. So that actually sits below the texture. Um, and I think what I wanna do is add a base height to it you'll see what this does here. 
this is going to bring it up an eighth of an inch. Yeah, before it starts to do the round. So that's basically adding an eighth of an inch above the pocket, and then it's going to create the text on top of that eighth of an inch. So I like the way that that looks. Uh, we'll leave it just like that, and we'll hide this and click Done. Now, you're not limited to just applying one texture. So right now, this is what our this is what the design file looks like. Um, but if we if we wanted to add something else, we could go this inside profile and select the text again, and we can apply another texture. So I have one that is uh, it's like a string of ivy, and again, this is just a PNG file, and I'll show you what happens here. So we bring this in, and looking at this. I know that I want to invert the texture, but I'm going to show you why. If you do, let's rename this. Uh, if you apply this, and we preview it in 3D, it's pretty much the opposite of what I wanted it to look like. So you've got the leaves of the ivy down here, and then this material is, is proud of that. But if we invert it, then Everything around the ivy is basically going to go away, and the ivy will be proud. So this has got a height of a quarter of an inch, uh, which would actually be too much for a half-inch material. Oh, that was the wrong button. So instead of a half of an inch or a quarter of an inch, we can set this to an eighth of an inch max height and click Apply. And now those leaves will be uh, an eighth of an inch above the previous texture. So, and you can see that the, the bottom texture, the chip carving texture is actually still running through uh, the pieces of ivy, which I think is, is pretty neat actually. The other thing we can do here is change the scale. So if we change this to like 50%, uh, we would get twice as much ivy. These leaves would be smaller, but they would be more dense. So you'll see what happens. There we go. So now we've got a bunch of pieces of ivy. Again, we can change the angle here. We can say that we want this to be, uh, let's do it opposite of the other one, perpendicular, 90 degree angle. And now it's going to tile that ivy PNG all the way across the design like that. And that'll do it for this episode. We'll see you next time.